So recently we talked about how filmmaking is more of a collaborative effort than a solo thing. But what about those times when you are just a solo filmmaker? You're out traveling by yourself or you're, you're downtown in the city by yourself. What do you do then? I struggle with this all the time. I have some video idea that I wanna film, some examples for a video, and I have nobody to film except for myself. And I always talk about telling story through a subject or character, a person in your video. And when you're by yourself, well, you have to be that subject. On Monday, I posted that video where I just felt like going out and filming just for the heck of it, just for fun. No rhyme or reason for it. And it was kind of interesting just filming a whole bunch of different B-roll all by myself as a solo shooter. I was setting up the camera, making sure everything's good, but also being the actual subject that was getting filmed. And I think it turned out kind of cool. I learned a bunch of stuff, I just had fun, and I got a cool little edit out of it. And then I posted on Twitter, and then Cody Warner was like, hashtag solo B-roll challenge? And I thought that'd be kind of an interesting idea. Maybe this weekend, you should go out and film your own solo B-roll. The video can be about anything you want. The only rules are is that you have to be filming it and you can't be filming somebody else. So you have to film it and you have to be the subject in the video. Now it's okay if there's some random people in the background or whatever, but you can't be filming your friend for this video. Keep it under a minute, do not go over a minute. I'm not gonna look at any of the videos that are over a minute long. Post it on Twitter using the hashtag solo b-roll and then tag me in it at Mattiapoya so I'll see your videos. I'm gonna pick five to showcase but one winner, I don't actually know what the winner's gonna get yet. At worst you'll get a nice shout on my channel but maybe I'll try to send you some camera gear or something like that, a gimbal or backpack, I don't know. Let's see what I can come up with. Also, please try to use either Artless, Epidemic Sound, or Music Bed so that I can actually show your video on my channel and play the music. And if you're like, I don't have the money for those, well, right now, Music Bed and Epidemic Sound are both doing free trials, so uh, I'll put the links down below. Try to use one of those three places for your music. Okay, so now that we've settled the rules for the hashtag solo B-roll challenge, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a pep talk, a little bit of uh, a few tips that you can use in your solo B-roll film. First off, just put your camera on the ground, on a table, whatever. Don't be scared to set up your camera even though you're the subject and the filmmaker. Set up your camera somewhere, obviously be cautious. You don't wanna get your camera stolen. I usually don't put it too far away. I always kind of have an eye on it for the most part. Uh, be cautious, but put the camera down on the ground, walk through it, bike through it, skateboard through it, whatever you need to do to make it more interesting. Don't feel like you just always have to be holding the camera all the time. Next, focus a lot on the framing because even even if you're walking through the frame or whatever is kind of weird, as long as the framing is really nice, then you're guaranteed to have some really cool B-roll because just the overall frame looks really good. So really put a lot of time into the framing of things. Make sure that's good because you can't always have your movement in the video be perfect because you're having to do everything by yourself. Next, just use your arms. You, you have these arms, use them. So I do a lot of funny stuff. Like for example, when I was doing that, that video for Monday, um, um, I kind of just like did these dolly forwards. Uh, I just held the camera in front of me and I just slowly moved it closer to my face. And, and you can't really tell in the video that I'm doing that, but you have these arms, use it to do really interesting things, creative things. And then to make it even better, uh, you can use one of these guys to kind of have an extension for your arm. So a lot of the, the feet shot, for example, in that video, I kind of just held out the camera with this gorilla pod and it kind of extends it so you can get some really cool angles. So use your arms and use an extender for your arms also. And just try things, try anything. Like I did in that video, I just tried a whole bunch of weird stuff. Sometimes I just held the camera kind of in front of me pointing up and I was just walking around seeing what that looked like. I was trying to do some spinny things, trying to see if that looked cool. I just tried anything and everything. Be creative with it and don't worry if it turns out crappy, who cares? Nobody's gonna see that footage. A lot of my shots looked terrible, but then there were these moments that looked really, really cool and it was just because I was trying a whole bunch of different things. And as you're doing that, make sure to think about continuity. For example, if you want a walking shot, walk towards the camera and then just flip it around and walk away from the camera. Not only will this help to build your story a little bit, but it also gives you more 
interesting B-roll that just link together really nicely. So for example, if you're making coffee, don't just have one angle of you pouring the coffee, pour the coffee from one angle, then change the angle, pour it again, and maybe walk off or something. So you have a lot of these dynamic shots and there's good continuity in the shots. Solo B-roll does not mean that you can only have one camera angle. You can do whatever you want. And then one of the big decisions is whether to go autofocus or manual focus. Neither works perfectly in every single situation. For example, when I was doing those dolly forward shots to my face, I needed the autofocus. I mean, I, I guess I could have done it in manual focus too. It would have been just a different different look kind of coming into focus. But then for some of the wide shots where I don't want the focus to be changing, I just put it to manual focus and that's what worked best in those cases. So make sure to think about whether you need autofocus or manual focus for that shot. And lastly, don't care what people think about you while you're filming your solo B-roll. If you're constantly thinking like, oh, what are those, those people, they're looking at me, you're gonna get safe shots and not necessarily the best shots. So just don't care about the people who cares what they're thinking? I mean, I'm sure I looked like an idiot running around in a snowstorm when it was freezing outside, sliding around on the ice and stuff, a grown man just filming himself. But I didn't care, whatever. I was gonna try different things just to see what kind of cool stuff I could come up with. So make sure you don't care about what other people are thinking about because you wanna get the best shots and not just the safe shots that don't make you look like an idiot. All right, so get out there, film something for fun, just for yourself, by yourself. Um, remember to keep it under a minute long and post it on Twitter using the hashtag solo B-roll and then tag me at Maria Poya on there just so I see it. You have until Sunday to post it on Twitter. I'm not, I'm not gonna be super strict about the timeline, but on Monday, I'm gonna start watching them. And yeah, go out there and have fun with it. I think that's the most important thing about doing this challenge. Just have fun with it. Best of luck and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.